Welcome back to Rhythm and Rome Moderero Club of Foster, Ohio. My name's Mike. Today I'm going to show you how to make simple trays on the cheap. Um, this one here is without a jig. This is just guessing. So like one tree. And I made, I made this jig here to kind of like making three trees. I'll show you how to do that one too. If I'm going to just show you, say like you don't have a jig, you just want to do something simple. You can do with one out with one jig. Now I made a jig. It's pretty simple. I took a grinder. I don't have a table saw, so I took a grinder and I just cut a groove in, down below it. A couple of hooks and a piece of nail at the bottom. Okay. Now another group, Monterey group, gave us this. I kind of forgot what their names are. Sorry. Um, he made this. This guy name is Tim. He made this in his group, and it's got like the hooks and a ruler i mean it's really nice he had a table saw and on the side of it's a nail so you can even hang these up when you're done with them so i'm going to show you all three of these real quickly but i'm going to show you the twine i'm using the wire you could pick up any hardware store or even walmart i'll find out where that other one went at walmart okay i found it <laughs> it's laying in front of me but you can buy this also at walmart it's like gauge it i don't know what gauge that is but it's really like real oh there it is it's 26 gauge it's really thin and i think this one here is like 18 gauge and this other one's like a 19 gauge so it doesn't matter what size wire but i prefer i like the thicker wire because the thin one it's it's okay but if you push too hard it bends over but i'll, I'll show you I'll show you the twine what we use okay here's the twine i'm using lifetime supply i bought it at tractor supply it's baling twine is what it is for like uh baling baling hay or straw that's what they use you got a tractor supply so i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do with them real quick make some trees you ready yep okay. so i made a little jig here and it comes here that's all you do um Trees are not all the same length. I went backwards. I haven't done one of these in a long time. How long has it been? Uh, three months. Oh gosh. So now I got I got where I need to be. Can you see out okay? Yep. Okay. Not no face, and that's where you are doing your stuff at. So that's how you do it? Yep, just kind of pull them apart a little bit. Right down. You got them too wide though. But it'd be fine. I've seen people soak these in water, but I don't do it. Besides, I might take you a little while. Yeah. Well, your trees are pretty simple. Yep, I learned it from this other moderator group and they taught us. Okay, get my girl. And it's got a hook on it. <laughs> Captain Hook. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. This. So, 
That's how you do it. The hardest part is just trying to keep it together just a little bit. Once you got it down. Yeah, tie it. Yeah, I'll take, I, I cheat a little bit, so I'll take some pliers. Just like that a few times. And then make my hook. I made my hook. Then, see how it just curled up on me a little bit? Mm -hmm. So you can take the brush. And it didn't hook, it didn't stay on there correctly. It's so it's straight. So, if it pops off on you, no big deal. Just take the pliers. Just like that. There's your tree. There's your tree, days. So that's one it's without a jig. So I'll show you what I do with that. And then I'm not gonna worry about pausing that. So we're gonna do with one with the jig. With a jig. Is, what is that? It's a clamp. Two clamps. Yeah, I want to make sure it stays there. Okay, let's get the wire out. The wire. Yeah, the wire. You need a wire. Always. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's in the jig. Okay, now I'll use what I got left of this. I'm going to try to make some trees here. I'll try to make this one here. I can make about three in this one. Three trees is awesome. This is three. And it's a tractor. Yep. And I'm just guessing real quickly, so I don't want it to be perfect. Mm -mm. Now I get rid of one part. My arm's getting tired. I know. I'm, that's why I'm trying to hurry up real quick. Okay. All right. So I'll hang on. Your arm's getting tired. I got mm -hmm. something for you.
Yeah, they don't have to be perfect or anything like that. So you can make tiny little trees. Oh, you can't really see them. Go down a little bit. Do you see them now? Yeah. So there's some tiny little trees. So you can even make these HLN scale. All trees don't matter. So there's that one. Oh, I screwed up on that one. I cut it down too far, but it's fine. So we got some trays right there. So I'll put that over in the corner. Sit this down over here on the other bench. Now, You can make any kind of trees on this one as you want. So let's go with before I open the other one. Bravo. Yep. That was awesome. So what's one there I mean, this guy was good. He made 45 trees, I was thinking, maybe two hours, I'm thinking. 
I could be wrong. But man, that guy was good. He probably killed four hours. Huh? Probably killed like four hours, maybe. Now he made 45 trees. Just in a few hours. That's weird. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, he's been doing it longer than I have. He has? Yeah. Probably, he's probably been doing it since he was a kid. Mm hmm Now, this one's a little difficult. You just have to... Just after that one's bigger. It makes it hot, so it makes it hotter. I'm trying to. No big deal. So now, got some trees. Not super far. Not down that low. There we go. And here. There's your tree. And then here's the second one. You just kind of, there's that one. Came out awesome. Really good. Okay, go ahead and pause it. Okay, this is our first tree. It doesn't look like a tree. So what you got to do, take your wife's scissors and when she doesn't know it, you point them in a, an angle, or you can even work backwards. Getting close. Getting close. Got some strands there. And sometimes I like to feather it out a little bit down below. Just like nip them. Like you're pitching a dog. Tail off. Something like that. There. That looks like a tree. Oh. Now it looks like a tree. But you're like, but uh, it's brown. Look at that. Okay, go ahead and pull it. Come on over here. So this is the paint we're going to be using. Now this stuff here, uh, these bottles here are all static grass. Except for that one. These are all static grass, and this is just ground foam, ground foam, and me and my niece we took some some ground up leaves. So that's what we're going to be using too. Okay, pause it. There you go. And that's all you do. Just you can paint that one brown. Just set it up there. I'm too close. Green. Let's do another green one. Another green. This one here would be the light green. Got that one. Got that other one. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll see this one here real quickly. Is number five. Mm -hmm. That's number six. And also I'll say like, I don't like that green. It's kind of like, eh. Boom. Better. Okay, so we got some hairspray. Hairspray. Let's do. Let's do this one here. 
Don't need a heavy dose or anything like that. Just like that. Just spread it around. We'll put it like. There's the ground foliage. And what I like to do is kind of hold it down a little bit of hairspray. Just kind of. There's your tree. You know, it's a Christmas one. There's that one, and then we'll make another one with that one kind of green. I'm not gonna use the leaves on it. I'm just gonna spray it yeah. the grass around. I've seen a lot of guys that put it in a bucket and shake it around. You could do that too. But you like doing it the easy way, or whatever the easy or the hard way. <laughs> I just lightly do do it again. So I'll set it there, and. So how many trees we got? That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. So all I do is the next one. And let's do the brown one. The brown let's one's brown. bigger. Now this one's gonna get a little bit different dosage. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's there's only weeds on it. I'm gonna change this up a little bit. Put that set for a few. Now, put those away. Pause it. The static grass. You can make make one homemade. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set it right here for right now. Then I'll go ahead and use this one here. This one. There's that one. And let's use, let's use this one here. Kind of like a smidge of that. Spray it again because I think it dried on me a little bit. That looks pretty good. Oh, there's our tree. Let's go ahead and do another one. Spray it. Helps if I try to keep it in the container. So there's another tree. So I'll try to I fell out. That the last one? I have one more to do. And we're almost there. Dang it. Okay. And 
and this one. We're gonna do this one here. The so, big one. The big one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit more. And then that's one, so those ones. No, I don't need to do the other ones. You didn't spray it. I didn't spray it, okay. Only when you're putting the stuff on. It don't have to be perfect or anything like that. It's just a tree. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. No, because trees are not. How's that look? It's awesome. So that's how you make real easy trees. Hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell. Okay. I did. Oh.